I want to show you how to weave Spanish lace. Spanish lace is a finger controlled weave that's so easy to do and it's great for any kind of loom. I'm using a shacked Cricut loom here, but you can use a flora loom, a frame loom, any kind of loom really um, that you can weave plain weave on. So here I've woven sections. So in Spanish lace, you're gonna weave back and forth, changing the shed each time in one little section. And then you're gonna travel down and then weave the next section. And the higher you go, or the more rows you weave, and if you cinch it a little bit like I've done here, you're gonna increase the size of the hole. You're also gonna find when you wash this that these are gonna tip in the direction that you're going. So I'm weaving all the way across, and then I'm weaving back and forth with some plain weave. But you could also choose to come back uh, with Spanish lace as well. So let me show you how to weave a section. It's helpful to have a short shuttle, as you see here, because you're not weaving across very much. And I'm just pulling it a little bit. And it's hard to use your beater um, with your loom, so like a little hand beater works great. I've also used a belt shuttle for my shuttle, which helps press the yarn into place. Because I'm going to finish this um, with pretty vigorous washing, um, I'm weaving it pretty open. I think this is row six. One, two, three, four, five, yes, six. Because each of these, I'm weaving seven repeats or seven rows. And now, when I travel to the next section, I'm gonna stay in the same shed. I'm not gonna change sheds between each section. The other thing to remember is these groups never share thread. So you can see each little selvage here is distinct. It's not, the weft isn't coming over here at all. So that's something to watch for as a beginner when you start doing this technique. And that's all there is to it.